UFC 278, we have Sean Woodson versus Louis Saldana. This fight, we're going to see who the best boxer is. We have Sean Woodson. He's 9-1. Three of his wins come by knockout. One of his wins come by submission. And five wins come by decision. Never been knocked out. One loss by submission. Zero losses by decision. One thing that stands out with Sean Woodson is... The fact that he's six foot two and his reach is 78 inches and he's a featherweight. So it's almost like he has a frame of a middleweight fighting at featherweight. When I say he knows how to fight on the outside, I'm not lying. He has a beautiful jab and he has really good boxing, really good hands. But he only has one loss in his professional career. And that's to Julianne Erosa. Julianne, Sean was able to outstrike Julianne 37 significant strikes to 23 in the first round. And stay on the outside and use his jab, use his beautiful boxing. In the second round, Julianne was able to apply pressure and outstrike Sean 59 significant strikes to 46. So it looked like he was 1-1 going to the third round. And then in the third round... Julianne was able to take Sean down three times and eventually get the finish. It looked like Sean Whiston was cruising to win a decision, but he got submitted with a Darth Choke in the third round. Good performance by Julianne Erosa, but it looked like Sean Whiston was the better fighter. Sean Whiston even has a TKO flying knee win over Terrence McKinney on Dana White's Contender Series. Sean Whiston's last fight was against Colin Anglin. This fight, he was able to use his boxing more on the inside, and he was able to crumble Colin from multiple body shots. He's fighting against Louis Saldana. Louis, 16-7, 9 wins by knockout, 5 by submission, 2 by decision, 1 loss by knockout, 2 by submission, and 4 by decision. What matters is their height and their reach because Sean is 6'2 and Louis Saldana is 5'11. He give a 3 inches of height advantage. Sean Woodson reaches 78 inches, Louis reaches 73, so he give up 5 inches in reach. But that's the thing with Louis. Louis, he's been boxing ever since he was a kid. He's a multiple Golden Gloves champion. He shows it with his phenomenal footwork. And his wins over Bruno and Jordan Griffin, he was able to use his footwork, his movement, and fight smart fights to win decisions. Because that's the thing with Lewis. Lewis, he doesn't get hit a lot. He doesn't take a lot of damage. He fights with his hands down. He's not getting hit a whole lot. That's why Lewis get criticized a lot because he had nine knockouts and five submissions before the UFC. But when he got in the UFC, he's not really finishing guys. So Lewis, he fights these boring fights to win decisions. And after his fights are over, people are scratching their heads thinking, what if he would do just a little bit more? He's unpredictable. Occasionally, he throws head kicks. He throws spinning back fists. He throws knees. But for the most part, he moves around circles and he avoids big shots. That's why in a lot of his fights, most of his rounds are close. I'm not seeing the killer instinct from Lewis Saldana. So I got to go with Sean Woodson, his height, his reach, his boxing, the fact that he's going to go for a finish. And in Sean's only defeat in the UFC, he got taken down repeatedly in the third round and submitted. He don't have to worry about that with Lewis. I think this matchup benefits Sean Woodson. I'm choosing Sean Woodson by second round knockout.